Here we go. Oh, hey, it's me, Handyman Hal. Hope you're doing awesome today. Check out this bike. You know, have you ever wondered how a bike is made? We're at the perfect spot. We're here at BCA, Bicycle Corporation of America in Manning, South Carolina. And they make some really cool bikes here. <laughs> Just finishing putting on that pedal with this. This is a pedal wrench. It's a really awesome tool. Yep. So today we're gonna find out just how these bikes are manufactured. Today's visit is brought to you by SME Education Foundation. So come on, let's go see how these are made. We're at the first step in the process of manufacturing a bike. This is the delivery station. <laughs> Here, trucks bring in all kinds of shipments of parts. They have workers separating the parts out on pallets, and then they have forklifts that move the parts all throughout this warehouse. It's awesome. Look, check out the forklift now. That looks like maybe a set of rims or maybe wheels. Look how big this warehouse is. It's 55,000 square feet. And all of the parts in this warehouse is enough to make 40,000 bikes. That is a lot of bikes. Oh, well, come on. Let's go see how these things are manufactured. Let's go. Next up, wheels. You can't have a bike without wheels. Here at BCA, they actually make their own rims for their wheels. And this is what you call an aluminum profile. Yep, this long piece of aluminum gets put into this machine and they roll this out to be a rim. Oh wow, look. Kind of looks like a slinky, like a gigantic spring. Now, they're gonna take this piece, they're gonna put it in this machine and it cuts it. And this is gonna make three bike rims. Oh, that's awesome. Here is where it actually gets pinned together. Of course, it's gonna have cut marks of this connects it together. Oh look, this is Wallace. And Wallace is working on a really important machine called a laser. This machine attaches the spokes to the rim, right? Right in the center is what you call the hub. And then the spokes spread out, and that's what strengthens the wheel. And then after he finishes, he sends it all the way down the line to the tightener, where every single spoke is tightened evenly. It's pretty awesome. There goes the tightener. It's tightening all the spokes to the rim. Oh, hey, look, it's Erica. And Erica is putting on a rim band onto the rim. Rim bands actually help protect the inner tube from any of the metal on the rim. This is really cool. Can you show me how to do it? Yeah, so you're gonna find a little hole right here. Then you're gonna keep this in here. Okay. And then you're gonna come around. And it stretches just like a band. Right. Okay. And it sends it down the line. Yeah. Oh, well, can I try one? Of course. This is going to be great. All right. So there goes the, the rim. Oh, oh, sweet. Now we've got to find the little hole. Right here. It was right there. 
Oh, yeah, there it is. All right, and let's get a band, right? Right. Oh. There's a lot of bands down there. All right, so there it goes. We're gonna make sure the shiny side is right here. Shiny side is on the outside. Oh, there it is. So we put that in there just like that. And we stretch the band around, right? Right. Oh, perfect. Well, that's great. So pull this out. Yep. And then always make sure that this one right is on the right side and then we send it down the line. <laughs> wow, that's great. Oh, look, these machines are really important to the process of assembling the wheel. They are called truers. And what they do is they bring a wheel inside and they test how balanced the wheel is, how true the wheel is. If you put on a regular wheel on the other side of this machine, your bike's gonna wobble all over the place. But this machine actually makes it to where your wheel is true and centered. It gives you a nice smooth ride. It spins it to find out where all the defects are. And then they have arms that go in and tighten up each spoke to make it true and balanced. There it goes. And now, on to the next step. Come on, let's go. Now this is a bike tire. <laughs> Check it out. Got the tread on there. Yep. And on the inside, it's the inner tube. And here behind me, these guys are working on a really awesome machine called a tire mount. <laughs> and they're mounting the tires onto the rims. Yep. After they mount the tire onto the rim, pass it off to the next guy, and he is filling it up with air. He's using the valve to fill it up with air, and then he tests it out. Spins it around and makes sure everything looks just right for the tire. All right, this is the last part of the wheel assembly. <laughs> Check it out. There's a hole in the table. <laughs> so the tire is right there in the hole to make it easy to work. And what we're doing is installing disc brakes. <laughs> so what happens is it goes right on the top of that tire there, on top of the hub. Of course, if you use a drill, <laughs> and you get these really awesome screws here, and it takes six screws to attach this brake onto this wheel. All right, so one at a time, we'll start on this side here. And we go opposite on each screw. All right, there we go. On there, there we go. There we go, now we get to tighten them. Oh yeah. But now we're all set. <laughs> it's a perfect wheel. There we go. Oh. Working here at BCA is so much fun. We're learning all about how bikes are manufactured and we're getting to use some really awesome equipment like this. This is a pallet jack and it helps move pallets with wheels all across the warehouse. <laughs> it's great. You know, here at BCA, they make a thousand bikes a day. So I guess that means they make 2,000 wheels. That's a lot of wheels. Well, I guess we might need to get this pallet over to the assembly line so we can start putting that bike together. <laughs> All right, let's see here. There we go. Back it up. Awesome. Check this out. We're in a really awesome area. This is the paint booth. Here at BCA, they use a really special paint to paint their frames. They use a powder paint. Yep. Oh, and the bikes hang right here on these racks. And they move along the conveyor belt into this booth. And this is where they actually get painted. See the little nozzles? Oh, oh I can't wait to see this process. This is gonna be awesome. Here comes the frames of the bikes on the conveyor belt. They enter the paint booth 
and they get sprayed with the paint. This paint, it has a glitter finish to it. Then the frames go into an oven where the paint dries really quick. The final step is a clear coat for extra protection and shine. Here they are, all of the finished frames. They've been painted, they've been clear coated, and these are nice shiny black. Yep, next, they're ready for their decals, their designs, stickers. I wonder what these might look like. Then they head off to the assembly line where all the other parts are attached to manufacture the bicycle. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Check it out. It's the count for today. We gotta get to a thousand. We've only done 596. We gotta get to work. Welcome to the sub assembly line. This is where things like seats and reflectors, check those out, are attached and put together before it's attached to the bike frame, right? So when seats come in, they get their manual attached to them for the bike and then we're gonna put this on seat pipe here. Gonna push it down just like that. And then we're gonna attach it to this awesome air gun. Here you go, watch. And it's ready to go. Slide it back into its plastic. And on to the next one. <laughs> this is the start of the assembly line. We take the finished frame. We've got some frame wrap on it to protect it. <laughs> and this is where they actually attach it to the conveyor belt. It starts to go around the line. All the parts get attached to the frame. <laughs> this is amazing. After the cranks are installed, they come here. This is the fork to frame section. They're taking the frame, attaching it to the front wheel fork, putting some bearings, some screws on it, and attaching the handlebars. And then it gets put onto the assembly line. Oh, that's neat. Check that out. The bike is flipped upside down. So as it goes through the assembly line, it gets assembled upside down. And this section, they're attaching the rear derailleur and the rear brakes. Oh, and also they get one of these tags that tells you the frame size. So these frames are large. Yep. So it fits riders five feet, nine inches to riders six feet, two inches. Oh, that's great. There goes the kickstand. And now, the bike chain. This looks like a fun part. They're attaching the rear wheel to the frame. They're connecting the chain, and also they're testing out the derailleur. You see that? See how the derailleur moves? She's making sure it works properly. If you notice, there's a lot of bikes on this assembly line. There's up to 50 bikes at one time on this line. <laughs> oh, and from start to finish, it takes about 20 minutes to assemble the bike. But what's great about an assembly line and all these awesome workers is a bike can get put together in 25 seconds. That's amazing. The bike is completely assembled and tested for safety. The handlebars and the front tire are removed to save space on shipping. 
off to the stores for display and for us to buy. Here it is. This is the final step. The bike actually is getting packed inside of a box. Check that out. That's what they call an air hoist that helps them lift the bike up and slide it right into the box. Makes it so easy, right? Yeah. <laughs> and now these boxes are gonna be shipped off to stores so they can put them on display. That's amazing. Check out this machine. This is called a stretch wrapper. What it does is it wraps the boxes, five, 10, 15, 15 boxes. So it wraps them and gets them ready to ship out. That's amazing. Now, off to shipping. Yes! What better way to get around a bike factory than on a bike? We've had such an awesome day here at the Bicycle Corporation of America in Manning, South Carolina, where we've learned all about how these bikes are manufactured. And, yeah, we've got to give a big thanks to SME Education Foundation for making this day happen. And if you want to know a little bit more how things are made, like these bikes, and some more resources for students, Check the link below. I'll see you later. <laughs>